SEO training DVDs. Our company produces a series of SEO training DVDs and these cover things such as uh, on-site SEO, off-site SEO and also how to use WordPress to create a business website. For full details of our DVDs please see our website at www.4onlineseotraining.com Training Seminars in JuneLab in addition to the DVD courses, we run actual training seminars here in JuneLab. And uh, for details of this, if you see our website, which is www.4seotraining.com.au. The training seminars run on a regular basis. And if you look at our website, you'll see the details of the courses, prices and schedules. We can also create a new website for you from scratch. So in addition to actual training, uh, if you need a brand new website, we can create that from scratch for you. We can also convert your existing website to a WordPress website. Um, if you already have a website written, something like Dreamweaver, if you're not familiar with Dreamweaver, you need to have someone who's technically uh, competent to actually update and maintain the website for you. The great thing about WordPress is that once it's been properly set up, the, you can maintain it yourself, you can add pictures, you can update your prices, you can create new pages, you can do basically whatever you want. And remember, WordPress is basically designed for use by non-technical people. So as I say, the trick with WordPress is to get it set up properly in the first place. And once it's been set up, the idea is you can maintain the website from there. And you can also do things like the SEO yourself because there are various SEO plugins that we recommend that basically will help you along with the SEO process as you go. Now beware SEO sharks. Unfortunately in this business, there's an awful lot of charlatans um, a lot of people just simply want to take your money. A lot of them are based abroad. So if you get any spam emails offering all sorts of wonderful SEO services, just simply delete that spam message the same way you should delete any spam message. Um, don't be seduced by low prices and huge promises because uh, by and large you'll get absolutely nothing or you get low quality uh, results for you know, in return for your money. So be very cautious when dealing with an SEO company. Um, basically, it's buyer beware. As I said, there are an awful lot of sharks. There are a lot of SEO companies I've come across who frankly know little or nothing about SEO. And um, there are other SEO companies that will make all sorts of um, interesting promises, but uh, in a lot of cases those promises turn out to be worthless. So do be careful with SEO companies. It's uh, very much a minefield and there's a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon who frankly know little or nothing about SEO. If you're considering using an SEO company, there's a couple of things you should uh, check out. I mean, the first obvious thing is how well does the SEO company actually show up in Google? So if you type in something like SEO followed by um, maybe your, your suburb or your city and there's no sign of them, then chances are they're, they're not, that, not that good. Um, at the end of the day, if you see an SEO company and they're using paid for ads, that doesn't say an awful lot about their SEO abilities. Remember, SEO, search engine optimization, is about getting found in the organic results. So if you find an SEO company uh, using paid for results instead of actually showing up in the organic or the natural results, that kind of speaks reams really about their SEO abilities. So again, beware. Another thing to check out is the uh, page rank of their home page. So simply uh, go to the home page of the SEO company you might be considering and go and see what sort of page rank they have. I've seen many, many examples of so-called SEO companies where they've got a page rank of zero or one or two, uh, basically very low page rank. Um, a lot of SEO companies will tell you that, hey, page rank is not important anymore. Um, it is important. It's not all important, but it is important because uh, in Google's own words, page rank is basically Google's view of the importance of a particular page on the web. So if even the home page of an SEO company has a page rank of zero, it doesn't really say too much about their abilities. Something else you can do is to check for broken links on an SEO website. Again, it seems incredible, but I've come across numerous examples when I've been looking at our competitors. And when I do a check for broken links, they're absolutely crammed full of broken links all over the place. As we've seen, Google doesn't like broken links. So if the SEO company has a website full of broken links, again, it doesn't look too good. Does the SEO company provide both on-site and off-site SEO services? Um, but ideally, these days, they should be providing both. The other thing is a lot of companies claim to be SEO companies, and when you actually talk to them, what they're actually doing 
is they're basically reselling uh, the Google AdWords scheme. So they're getting you to try and advertise uh, on Google and basically that'll cost you money and basically they will make money by the fact that you're advertising through them. Again, if you're thinking of using an SEO uh, third party company, check out their website and check out their contact details. If an SEO company just simply has a box number and a telephone number and that's it, but no actual physical address, it doesn't look so good. So basically you want to try and get as much information to establish that they're actually real. Um, you could also um, run a check to see when the website was created. So if they've claimed to have been in business for say 15 years or something, and the website was only created a couple of months ago, again, it doesn't look so good. If you're going to use an SEO company, is their pricing structure clear? Um, quite often, um, companies use quite complicated pricing structures and kind of blind you with science. Um, so one thing you should be quite clear on is exactly what you're getting for your money. And one of the scams that a lot of um, the less reputable SEO companies use is they say, well, we'll guarantee you first page positioning. Um, if you go and look at Google's own website, they basically say no one can guarantee a first page position. That's Google's own words. So quite often when these companies say they'll guarantee first page, first page position, what they're actually guaranteeing is a first page position for what's called a long tail search phrase. So for instance, um, if your company makes widgets, they might guarantee that the phrase um, blue widgets made in Joomla WA is found, but how many people search for that? So again, you've got to be very careful when looking at guarantees from SEO companies. Finally, never, never, ever respond to emails, uh, spam messages, promising all sorts of things for SEO. Um, being an SEO company, we're like a magnet for these sort of things. So we attract an awful lot of SEO spam, a lot of it trying to partner with us. You know, do you want to outsource? So uh, again, what you should do is use an SEO company that doesn't outsource to all and sundry. A lot of companies will outsource to um, foreign countries and the work, who knows what sort of quality it is. But um, the basic message is, if you get an email out of the blue uh, promising all sorts of things for SEO, just simply delete it because more than likely it's some, some form of spam. And finally, the best person to optimize your website is you. I mean, hopefully after looking through this DVD, you realize that SEO is not difficult. You just need good, reliable, up-to-date information. You have to know what to do, what not to do. And with SEO, it's a question these days of knowing where to draw the line. Um, in the old days, you could throw absolutely every trick in the book at your website and chances are Google say, yeah, that's great. And you get onto the first page and the top of the first page. These days, over-optimization can harm your websites, we've seen. Um, if you have too many links and those links look unnatural, that will harm your website. So there's all sorts of things you've got to consider these days. So if you're outsourcing, be very, very careful. Remember, there are numerous examples of large corporate companies who've outsourced their SEO. Um, BMW is one example, and Flora is another example, where they've ended up being banned, not through their own fault, but um, allegedly through the actions of uh, third-party SEO companies. So take claims from SEO companies with a pinch of salt and basically do your own research. If you're going to use an SEO company, check out their websites, check out their companies, um, and basically see how well they actually do on their own site before you let them anywhere near your site. So definitely buyer beware.